Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. I am doing a uh, catching up video with Walther. I've got my friend uh, Vince Mann. Right? I got that right. You got that right. Yes. And uh, Vince, what do you do? You work for Walther Arms, and yes. uh, that's who we're catching up with here. <laughs> yeah, so. basically digital media, okay. um, social media included in that, um, okay. which I'm, that's where all the, the experts hang out. So I get to deal with a lot of that, which is solid. Uh, yeah, that's cool. What do they? Are you like the vice president of digital media or the um, czar senior, of, uh, I don't know what the title is. Uh, marketing manager, which they gave me senior because of the white and the beard. Oh, right, so, exactly. Yeah. Okay, I thought I thought that was a COVID nineteen thing that's happening to you there. Yeah, I, I like to stay dusted, man. I, yeah. I get <laughs> it's anti COVID. Okay, juice. okay, Just, right, right, right. So um, we're we're basically going to catch up with Walther Arms today. That's what we're doing. We're doing this in conjunction with Amoland News, so you guys will be able to read an article on Amoland News as well as see this video on YouTube, right? And a uh, full disclosure before we get into it here, Walther Arms does sponsor my co podcast, which is Who Moved My Freedom, and that's on the my, our Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded channel on YouTube. Just get all of that out of the way for folks. No right? ambush questions, right? Yeah. We, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> well, hey, you never know, man. You never know. If I think of something. Anything, yeah. Yes, if I think of something. So, first of all, thanks for doing this, man. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, I think the first thing people would want to know out there with everything that's going on is how is Walther Arms um, handling this uh, COVID-19 crisis? So you guys shut down in production. Um, have you had anyone that's uh, that's gotten sick that works for you guys? So we uh, we shut down all operations and we're just working on a, a vaccine right now. Um, we went over. I'm kidding. Um, okay. <laughs> no, we uh, we're running pretty much full strength. Uh, manufacturing's up and running, uh, mm -hmm. PPK, PPKS, um, mm -hmm. working on that as well as some new projects as well. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who are working from home right now. So okay. trying to mitigate, uh, you know, close personal contact and stay within the, uh, you know, the distancing uh, yeah. requirements and everything like that. But I mean, we, we do deep cleans on the office all the time. And so far, everybody here is healthy. Mm -hmm. You know, we're in Fort Smith, Arkansas. There's not a lot of people coming in and out of our area from other parts of the country. I mean, the few cases that have popped up around Arkansas are people who are coming back from college once everything hit and everything. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we're, we're pretty isolated here in, yeah. uh, you know, in our state, which is solid. Right. And then also the administration declared firearms industry um, essential business. Did you guys need that? Were you affected by that? Did Arkansas try to uh, close down production at all? No, it's a very friendly state. We're really cool with uh, the governor here. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, we're, like I said, we're really lucky as far as not lucky. It's part of the plan, uh, mm -hmm. but we're located um, mm -hmm. in Fort Smith, Arkansas. So there was never any uh, any issues with that. I mean, obviously, you know, firearms industry, we got to comply with with the federal government, mm -hmm. but uh, we're good to go. OK, good. Good to know there. And uh, how's. Because we've we've been having record sales, right? So we've got a lot of new gun uh, buyers coming into the scenes. How's that affecting you guys? I don't know. You you don't sell directly. I'm sure. I, I think you guys go through distributors, right? Correct. Yeah, we don't go direct to local gun shops or online retailers. Mm -hmm. uh, they they purchase via distributors. But mm -hmm. you know, everything's been really good for us. And uh, one of the things we wanted to do, which you know, we could sell every single gun we have at, at full price. We're, we're offering up that Heroes VIP program right now. Right. And we wanted to do that as a thank you for people who are keeping the country running. Initially, we, we said essential uh, personnel, but I mean, we, we truly believe everybody's essential, whether you're working or not kind of a deal. Yeah. So this was something for anybody who's out there right now, whether you're driving a truck, a bus, uh, hospital personnel you know we we have a standard vip program anyway for law enforcement and okay. first 
programs and everything. But this Heroes program is something we wanted to okay. to put up there for for people. So people find that um, on the WalterArms.com website. It's called the Walther Heroes Program. I'm, I've got it thrown up here right now. And I guess there's a form they fill out. And right now it's running until May 25th, 2020, right? Correct. Um, Correct. Reevaluate that as the date gets closer and see okay. if uh, see how the country's doing as far as opening back up and oh, okay. everything. Yeah. So, pro- oh, okay. So you might take that a little further. Okay. And awesome. um, and that's that basically that's you. I I think you said you have a separate program for law enforcement. Yes. Right. Yep. Okay. That's uh. You know you can find that I believe it's under the the contact tab at the top of our website walterarms.com okay. and then standard um, industry. A VIP is below. Okay, it's the same page. It's just the top portion will have the heroes, and below that will be the the industry. Okay, so the heroes program. What kind of occupations is that? Is doctors, nurses, and anybody who's working okay. right now to get up running. I mean, whether you're a Grubhub driver or okay. if you work at Walmart, because I mean, we need that, right? Okay. Everyone's going to the stores. Yeah. Okay, all right, good. The guys out there uh, processing our meats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. man, make some yeah. more beef. Bro. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that's – and uh, what kind of discount are folks getting out of that? I mean it's based on the individual model. You know, okay. the vast majority other than PPK and PPKS mm-hmm. that uh, are made in the U.S., everything's imported from Germany. So okay. our prices are varying. Um, there's no across-the-board percentage discount, but mm-hmm. there's some really solid deals on there. Okay, and how is that working? Um, does that – I'm assuming that's working in conjunction with the 30 30- – a back guarantee that you guys also have that's kind of been extended here or no that's a that's a separate program altogether okay. so um you know we initially had launched the 30-day money-back guarantee on the mm-hmm. i believe ppq and pps models which are you know our flagship models and mm-hmm. we had a a meeting uh, maybe two months ago and we're like let's just offer that in all of our guns you know we believe mm-hmm. in all of our our handguns so we mm-hmm. went ahead it's extended that program to everything. So, I mean, there, there's no reason to not try some one of our guns. I mean, mm-hmm. we, you know, they already have a lifetime warranty on them, which is a big deal anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, ultimately, which this is kind of backwards for a gun manufacturer to say, but we want people to be comfortable with what they buy. You know, if you're not comfortable, you're not going to be confident. If you're not confident, you're not going to carry it or yeah. use it, you know, yeah. so... You know, it's just more an incentive. Give it a try. If you don't like it, we we pay you what you paid plus your tax, and we give you a FedEx label to send it directly back to us. You don't have to mess with the gun store. Gun stores don't have to mess with it. it. Just comes right back to us, and you know we issue the refund. Yeah, Walther's been around for a long time. One of the things, especially nowadays, uh, competition and marketing wise, there's uh, there's obviously a lot of people in the game. I think this is a good program for folks out there who just maybe don't know for whatever reason, right? They're like, oh, yeah. I've, I've seen those and they look kind of cool or, you know, they, they they just don't know, like, hey, should I get into this? This yeah. is an opportunity for them to try it out. If they don't like it, you know, they can send it back to you guys. What kind of return rate do you all have? It's low. I mean, I always joke about like the the individual in charge of uh, the returns and stuff's like the Maytag man kind of falling asleep, laying on the the racks, OSHA violation, you know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. sleeping on the job. It's, <laughs> it's pretty solid. I mean, it's yeah. you're gonna like the guns. I mean, everybody knows Walther. You know, we're we're near 140 years, um, and they know us because of the PP models, the P38, the PPK, PPKS. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I mean, we have some modern firearms that are just unbelievable. Yeah, um, it's kind of you know, give it a shot. There's there's no risk to it at all. Mm-hmm. You, know, you got to fill out your paperwork like normal. I mean, but mm-hmm. you know, go yeah. buy it. <laughs> yeah. the reverb. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I think we had like a little slowdown there in the uh, internet. So pardon us for that. I don't know. Um, uh, you know, obviously Vince is home. So might be some yeah. email messages coming in from work right now. So, yeah. yeah, there's lots of things out there on my channel. If you guys are interested in that, I have been testing a couple of things. So, uh, for example, I've got the PPS M2 that we're putting up videos on that you guys could uh, check out out there. Here's the PPS M2 that, um, you know, I also I also have been testing. That's a 9mm, and then I've also been testing the P, uh, PPQ. 
and this yep. is the Navy. Yeah, yes. PB, yeah, uh, yeah. This, I'm sorry. That's the one uh, designed for maritime operations. So I mean, yeah. that one is it has a hollow channel where you can right. shoot that soaking wet, you know, submerged kind of a deal. So. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to do any uh, Navy SEAL type stuff with it yet, Vince. Damn it! But I have done some videos. I I, <laughs> I enjoy you know having a threaded barrel and uh, being able to run a suppressor on there. I'll wait until you come and then we'll do we we'll go yeah. jump in a in a lake or something. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. But um. Yeah, so there's lots of different things in the line. Um, obviously, I, I saw you guys at uh, at Shot Show, and that was the last show of the year. And then the shows after that pretty much got canceled. Um, were there new things that you guys had coming out for NRA that maybe we missed out on? Are you guys oh, releasing things during everything going on here, or did you just put everything on hold? Yeah, I mean, we we still dropped the the Q4 steel frame. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That that was that's. Mm -hmm the newest um, okay model we dropped and you know the the q5 the previous year was the uh the return to our roots of steel frame mm -hmm. handguns you know that's in the walther uh mm -hmm. dna right there so mm -hmm. and the four you know uh the four is not just a, a chopped down q5 this thing has been you know the weight has been redistributed and you know the milling and everything is mm -hmm. spot on to, to make this thing balanced it's it's something special right yeah, and so also there we have a video up from uh, – I'll, I'll throw some stuff up on the screen here for people who haven't seen it. So basically explain quickly for anyone who's not familiar with the Q4 steel frame what we're looking at. You know, there's two models. There's the optic ready and the standard model. Um, and you have a, a four-inch handgun steel, uh, steel frame. This isn't just a cast piece of metal. You know, mm -hmm. people talk about price. I mean you're talking $1,399, $1,499. Mm -hmm. Um, it's well worth it. This thing is machined out of a solid piece of steel billet. You know, you're not going to cast piece on this thing. Um, mm -hmm. and it's the whole idea with it is performance and duty. Um, mm -hmm. you know, the beaver tail on this thing has been trimmed down to clear the hood on your, uh, your level two retention. So, uh, you're not going to get hung up on that. Um, like I said, the, the weight distribution, just, it's an unbelievable handgun. You really do have to shoot this thing to to fully wrap your head around what you can do with the 30 day mind back guarantee, you know? Yeah. So what we're looking at is this is more of a duty gun versus like uh, competition that, that the right. Q5 was, right? Right. But yeah. with all of the benefits of that high performance competition gun, oh, okay. you know, of the durability and reliability and the workhorse aspect of it. Okay. And these are available out there right now. If people are looking to get their hands on them, they can. For sure. Okay. Okay. Um, and then what other what uh, what other things are in the line? Like I remember you guys had a um, like a high end custom line. Yes, the mice the manufacturer. Uh, those have their own uh, tab on the website as well. Those you should be seeing those show up really soon. Uh, the one off arabesque, which is just hand engraved by a gentleman from Italy. Uh, just gorgeous. The idea behind the Meister manufacturer guns is modern meets classic. So these mm -hmm. are, I mean, you could carry these guns every day. I mean, obviously you're not going to want to carry a, a $30,000, $40,000 one-off arabesque, but it, I mean, uh, it's a... I would do gun. it. I would do it. You know, I would too. I'm <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, no safe queens. <laughs> right, for sure. So, yeah. Uh, you know, aside from the two hand engraved, I mean, you have a black tie and you have a, a, a black diamond as well, which will be out soon. I believe um, I know Bear Arms in Arizona will be carrying them. I'm not sure who else will be a, a Meister manufacturer uh, distributor. Okay. Yeah, you've but, got the Patriot line. There's a there's a bunch of different. Yeah. So uh, is all this craft work being done here in America or, or somewhere oh, else? It's in Italy. It's which, in Italy. OK. Yeah. Which some that just. I mean, the the lineage of of the individuals doing this are, you know, these people are trained by people who've been doing it for 60, 70 years. I mean, it's right. it's top notch. I mean, you can get a lot of stuff laser engraved mm -hmm. or part, you know, lasered in and then hand finished. But I mean, everything down to the gold inlays on the arabesque are, are just hand done. Just gorgeous, man. Wow. Yeah, they look great. I've seen them in person. They, they they do do look really really good to me and there's a level right so not all of the guns are 35 
thousand dollar guns. I think where was the entry uh, point on there? Two twenty five hundred, three somewhere around there. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't have the prices in front of me, but I mean, right. for what it is, even the finishes, like on the black tie and mm-hmm. the uh, black diamond, are performance finishes. I mean, they they look great, but they're also you know lowering friction and just the, yeah. there's something special. Yeah. Okay. So uh, so those are those guns made here and then sent over to Italy. Or everything's getting done in Italy. What's the? Uh... They're they're the guns are coming from Germany mm-hmm. and uh, they're, they're going being to Italy and onto us. Yeah. Oh, okay. So so these are not everything that Walther makes is made here in America, right? Just the PPK and PPKs right. currently. But okay. We're we're handing it to Fort Smith uh, manufacturing facility. Okay. So and then other than that, any other? Um, I know one of the things I saw that I was very interested in is. Uh, you guys have um, some airsoft stuff. Yeah, yeah. Wow. We we started a Walther CQT challenge. Um, mm-hmm. but, I mean, it's just kind of introducing the airsoft side of things, which we've had forever through a separate division in Fort Smith called Elite Force, uh, manufactured mm-hmm. by Rex. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, we have the PPQ, the PPS, um, and they're just a really viable safe alternative to getting out to the range if, if your ranges are closed in the state you're in or um, you can't always get out to the range if it's raining. I mean, something safe you can practice with at home in the garage, um, okay. still do the, the recoil and everything, fits all the holsters, one-to-one scale, mm-hmm. uh, just really cool training alternative. Right. Is this you we're seeing in this video? Uh, no. Which, no. No, the, there's a, like the challenge video that you – I'm probably – that's you? Uh, Cody. The, the, oh, that's I think Co- oh, is that Cody? I can't tell, man, with the beards on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like well, everyone's, got, everyone's got the... Got the real yeah, yeah, okay. So Cody's beard is a little a little browner, I guess, than yeah, yours. One strip of, of... It looks like toothpaste kind of coming <laughs> down there. Mine's just yeah. all... This there. this situation, man, is bringing some serious... Uh, you're going to have to get up on your beard game. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. With, with everything going on. So he's shooting at a, a pizza box. It looks like here. Yeah, You know, it's because you're talking 300 plus feet per second with a mm-hmm. six millimeter plastic, uh, mm-hmm. you know, BB. So it's going to punch through. So you, you want to have some sort of a backdrop. A towel mm-hmm. even will stop it. You know, you're not going to punch okay. through it. Hole, but, yeah, uh, you know, it's. It's coming with some velocity. And, you know, mm-hmm. since it is a smooth bore and a round projectile, uh, mm-hmm. the Airsoft has what's called a hop-up, which is a little kind of a uh, a piece of plastic that pushes on, on rubber and gives it backspin. So okay. kind of counter effects, uh, counters the effects of uh, gravity. So you still okay. get real accuracy out of it. Okay. Um, so and then for the folks out there, what is the uh, price point of these Airsoft guns? If you I, have that info, both of those, both of those guns are, are sub sub one hundred dollars. I know the PPQ is a little bit higher. It has a full size magazine, whereas the PPS mm. has a, kind of a stick magazine. Okay. Um, so there there's some some differences. You know, again, it's not a replacement for training. It's just a, yeah. a viable option to you know to do it in a different environment. And where can people go to buy these? Can they buy? Can this? Can these be bought on the website? Yeah, they uh, shop dot dot has uh, has the kits all together. Oh, okay, yeah, I just found it. Yeah, I'll throw that up here on the screen for people awesome. interested in that. Awesome. Okay, okay, so you've got some kits, and I looks like everything's under two hundred bucks. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, so right now you've just got these two models in. How long have you guys been in the airsoft game? Oh man. Um, Eight or nine years, I think. Okay. Like, so seven or eight at least. Okay. So we can look forward to some other airsoft things uh, coming into play in the future? Yeah, quite possibly. Okay. I, I don't have an answer for that side of the business. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, they have replicas from a bunch of different companies, all the licensed products as well, which you can find on umarexusa.com. Oh, okay. So if you don't have a Walther, if you have – some other bootleg companies' models. I'm kidding. <laughs> like all companies. Yeah. No, this is a good thing if someone wants to stay in the game. Also, like I think right now a lot of guys are conserving ammo, right? Because we yeah. also had a run on ammo. Um, yeah. 
you know, as, as, as well as firearms. So I think people are looking for that. So what about the future here? We're not, I don't think we're sure when the whole country is going back, but when can we look forward to seeing new things coming out from Walther? Sooner than you think. Um, okay. You know, at Shot Show, you saw a lot of the uh, the upgrade parts for like the steel frame. You saw the extended mag release. Mm -hmm. Saw the uh, the the new trigger that mm -hmm. were directly from factory. Mm -hmm. um, a few other few other parts as well. Um, yeah. We are going to have those very very soon. Um, there's obviously everything's got to go through the ATF that's imported. So there was some things with the trigger that prevented us from being able to bring it in as yeah. we show at shot show, okay. which that's very frustrating for people. They see it and they want it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? This, the firearms culture is in a customizing upgrading uh, yeah. extravaganza, you know, Absolutely. so <laughs> we're have that stuff really soon. Um, one of the other things I'm super excited about, um, you know, I I like running optics. There's a lot of people out there who, who don't like optics on their mm -hmm. firearm, but mm -hmm. our, our design, you know, the PPQ, when we released the PPQ, it was retrofit for an optic. Okay. So it, they came with the plates and a lot of the design, the plate Germany made because of aesthetics. Mm -hmm. And you lost the ability to have your rear sight on there, which is, is a turnoff for a lot of people. So we have the new plate that was designed in house that has a, a fixed rear sight in there that you can co-witness uh, with your front sight. And okay. that we're going to sell that on the store with um, an elevated front sight as well. So okay. that'll be, can we get a closer look at that? Um, this this oh, is this? not, yeah, oh, okay. this is not uh, the, the correct one, but um, okay. I, I can show you, I have a picture I'll be able to, to send to you, but okay. it, you, the plate will be right up in, in the rear here. Oh, okay. Of an elevated front sight that'll just okay. plug in place. So. Yeah, okay. And how soon can we uh, look forward to getting that? Um, it's in the final steps right now. Okay. Um, I believe the packaging and everything has been created for it. Uh, the, the finish was being put on it. I'm not sure if they're going to do the uh, – the the tenifer coat or what it might be but um so it's it's close i don't want to give a date because walther is notorious for it's got to be perfect you release it correct the first time or don't even bother so it's mm -hmm. it'll be ready when when we release it right okay all right <laughs> That's the, what, the answer right no i understand that so for the folks out there that are fans of walther you know that they own the guns they're they're following you guys you know, what message do you guys want to send to them? Um, you know, like what's the feeling and everything going on behind the scenes? You're obviously working for the company, and I think things are changing a little bit right now. Just like the way that you guys market, you know, the, the ability to, to uh, reach your your audience out there. You know, what are you all thinking and what's the messages you want to get out to folks? I mean, we, we've had long talks about this. Mm -hmm. the, the, the whole idea, it's, it's your duty to be ready. Like mm -hmm. we, we can provide you with the tool that is ready to go. Mm -hmm. It's reliable, ready to go. It's backed. I mean, you're peace of mind there, but mm -hmm. it's your duty. I mean, you have a lot of people panicking to, to buy their first firearm. You have to do your due diligence. It is your duty to be ready. I mean, we're, like I said, we'll, we'll provide you what you need to get there, but learn, yeah. learn. You've got to okay. step up and do the work. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as easy, I think, you know, I, I think a lot of folks out there, there's a lot of misconceptions, right? And right Hand now we have a lot of new, I'm you sorry, know, go ahead. Handguns are, are difficult to learn how to shoot. You have two points of contact, a rifle, anybody can pick up a rifle and become proficient with it fairly quickly if you have some of the basic foundational principles. But I mean, and there's so much individual about a shooting stance, a shooting grip, mm -hmm. not everybody, that's why, when you get training, find a bunch of instructors, find a handful and learn from each of them. They'll each give you an aspect that mm -hmm. will enlighten you and teach you more about what you need as an individual to shoot. Okay. Like the way what's good for you, like what's good, you know, mm -hmm. what might be right for some. You know, yeah, like it's not, the, not right for others. So let's say so let's say you, Vince, you had uh, a friend out there who they were getting into, um, to, they, they just bought a handgun, right? And they're just now getting into this. What specific advice, like what steps would you tell them to make 
after making that purchase. And we have a lot of new people out there in the world right now doing this and discovering yourself, Walther, and then all the other companies out here. What steps would you say, hey, definitely do this, 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 and then this? Right. Initially, I think a good step even before their purchase is to reach out to somebody they know who is into firearms and shoot a number of their handguns and, you know, get a feel for what's available, whether it's hammer striker, striker fired, uh, revolver, you know, there's a lot of different options out there and you can get a good grasp on that. But also when you find that person, don't take everything that that person says as gospel because Mm -hmm. they have their own bad habits and they have the things. (laughs) True. you know, like anything else, when you get the news about anything online, find a bunch of different sources. The truth is somewhere in between. Mm-hmm. Secondly, um, find them again, find a manufacturer that's going to stand behind their product. Um, you know, you'll end up getting more than one handgun, but the first one you get, make sure you, you do your due diligence, do your research, look at YouTube videos. Um, all that information is available for you out there. Uh, yeah. Find the pros and cons. Every gun has a con. Every gun has pros. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, kind of do your due diligence on that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when you make that purchase, spend enough time with it. Get familiar with it. Learn the the four basics of firearm handling, um, mm-hmm. which hopefully the first person takes you to the range will introduce you to that. Um, yeah, maybe do some training other than just – the training you need to do for the CCW with that yeah. firearm because this is how you're going to find out whether or not this works for the situation that you're going to be living in every day. Right, right. And, uh, you know, CCW training, depending on the state you're in, mm-hmm. a lot of information, you know, it's just an introduction. The the laws, once you pull that firearm in public to defend mm-hmm. yourself or, or what, what have you, you're opening yourself up to a whole world of possibly legal, you know, ramifications and everything else, research, research and study, be a good student of it. These are, it's not like carrying a, a, a pocket knife or, yeah. you know, there's a lot, the firearms has a lot of stigmas attached to it. And mm-hmm. it, it's your duty to understand the laws in your, in your area and understand firearms. You know, it's a, it's a big responsibility. Yeah. Um, join some groups. Uh, there's things you can do, I think, to uh, defend yourself. There's things like USCCA, mm-hmm. you know, uh, which we're an advocate for. And uh, and you guys can often find uh, links to that. Basically, you can uh, pay. You can make small payments to have protections if you wind up getting into a situation where you need legal legal representation. Think about that. Spend just as much, if not more money. <laughs> that you spend on on buying that firearm, spend just as much or more getting training. Absolutely, yeah. the USCCA, That's a great call on on your mm-hmm. part there, saying bringing that up because mm-hmm. that that you know to have that kind of a peace of mind where God forbid you should have to pull your firearm and defend your loved ones or yourself, mm-hmm. uh, and immediately your firearms confiscated, you're cuffed until you know the investigation's done. Mm-hmm. Um, they find if they don't find you immediately as a justified, uh, you know, act. I mean, you're, yeah, you, a year plus mm-hmm. of, of drama ahead of you. That, the USCCA will will step in and give you those protections. Yeah, absolutely. Just take some time. Take some time with this, and then to me, a big thing is to think about what are the mechanisms that allow you to be able to defend yourself, right? I don't think a piece of paper does it on its own. I don't think the the uh, Constitution or the Second Amendment does it on its own. We have to constantly, we have to one, be aware of that and constantly fight for the protection of that, right? Right. You know, so that's the way, th- this is the way that we're going to be able to do this going forward and so will our children. If we're doing all of this, we're trying to take care of ourselves and our family. So um, for to all the people who are newly coming into this, I'm just trying to give them a little bit of advice along with this. I think um, a lot of the guys who've been doing this for a while out there already know this stuff. Right. You know, something else important to maybe touch on is mm-hmm. there. there's no insignificant election right now either. You should know where the politicians stand. Look, look what happened to Virginia. Like, mm-hmm. Virginia was one of the founding states of the union, and you have – you have one bad election that caused a lot of this to happen. Um, mm-hmm. 
really want to stand up for your rights, look mm -hmm. look at who's running. Vote for who's running. Don't mm -hmm. just to the election November and vote for the president. Find research everybody who's going to be on that ballot. And there's a lot of places you can go to find out that information. And don't just start checking boxes. Do your research. Yeah, absolutely. It's good to hear that coming from you. Um, I, you know, I think the question I would ask you, the final question, is your sentiment uh, reflected throughout Walther Arms uh, for the Second Amendment? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, it's there, there's a shooting culture at the company. We're, despite being almost 140 years old, mm -hmm. we have there's three marketing guys, including myself, and a handful of like we're not a gigantic company, especially mm -hmm. compared to our competition. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's no there's no room for dead weight at, yeah. at Walt, and we're all just passionate about it. Yeah. Um, but uh, we do have some new products coming that I can't talk about, but you should see September October ideally okay. the first of of the batch up up heading up to Shot Show and everything, and we're just amped about that, man. Uh, okay. You know we're. You can't. I get, you guys can't wait to get it out there. I know we can't like break any news. Hopefully, right. you'll come back on. You know when you've got some things that can be shared, or I don't know if the plan is to like everyone has to wait till either Shot Show or whatever is the next big big show that we all go to. I'm not even sure that we're gonna have necessarily a Shot Show. Oh no! I hope so. I'm hoping so. No, I got yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, we might with this the uh, the flu season is definitely gonna cycle back around at that time. Yeah, we usually do it unless we plan on changing the timing of these shows and uh, maybe even locations. Right. Because SHOT Show happens in Vegas. Uh, that's a very that's an international place these days. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it happens during a time uh, that happens to to be flu season. And usually at SHOT Show, there's always what we call the SHOT Show Mung. Yeah. 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 So I, last two years, only only time I haven't gotten it in almost a decade ago and like it's yeah it's uh it'll wipe you out two yeah. weeks three weeks a month you know yeah. yeah absolutely all right so anything else you want to cover before we get out of here i think we've gone over quite a few things um anything any other message you want to send to to the audience here before we go um let's see here anything else here to me I mean that's kind of kind of the extent of it, man. Until until um, th these launches come up, mm -hmm. we're we're kind of we're kind of trying to be hush about a, quite a few okay, things. I understand. I can't pry anything out of you here. Is what you're trying to tell so, me, right? PPK and PPKS. I want to say this for everybody mm -hmm. who who asks on a daily basis mm -hmm. on uh, on Facebook and Instagram. It's not that we're not making them. We're making. Mm -hmm a ton of them we're shipping a ton of them every week it's just the demand is so massive on those mm -hmm. guns because they've been out of circulation for so long mm -hmm. um that so, so you're talking to like the p so the ppks is that the stainless um the no. s is for like the sport model so sport. basically okay. it's a little bit longer of a grip um okay. you're gonna have extra round in the magazine um mm -hmm. just a, a few slight differences than the ppk okay um so it's just they're out there. Um, I know there was a lot of interest in the stainless. I've been getting that question. Um, you, you guys are still manufacturing stainless uh, models, right? A bunch of them. We're making okay. black and stainless PPK mm -hmm. and PPKS models okay. and ship every week. And it's just the demand. I mean, we've even stepped up the amount we're making. Um, and it's just eventually the market will stabilize. Uh, okay. um, and imagine, I mean, there's just astronomical numbers. Yeah. Uh, What's the most? Moving. Excuse me. What is the most frequently asked question on social media? Because I think social media, you know, we've got you here, and social media is how most people are interacting with companies nowadays, right? So, what are the questions you guys are getting on there the most? Um, you know, the the uh, that's that's definitely by far the the biggest. Okay. Um, and the others kind of vary depending on what's posted. Um, mm -hmm. th there's questions based per model. Um, are we going to bring out the PK, the PPK and PPKS in 32 ACP? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It could be done. I mean, people want that as uh, you know the original, the nostalgic uh, concept of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, it could happen down the line. But we're we're at full capacity right now with mm -hmm. manufacturing on the 380. Mm -hmm. I did a review on the 380. It's actually pretty good. Um, I was impressed by that. 
it's a surprisingly mm -hmm. good gun to, yeah. to shoot, even though it's it's a hundred plus years old. I mean that yeah. that design is just yeah. still just a little workhorse. Yeah, and I actually got that one from a friend that bought it, and he was like, "Man, you have to." You know, I don't tend to do a lot of 380 stuff, although I think 380 is right. a good option for a lot of people. And he was like, you have to shoot this gun and 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 uh, put it out there, what you think about it. And I was really surprised. And, and so was he. He actually really enjoys it. So I think that's probably something very popular you guys have going on right now. Yeah, the 380, I mean, ballistics has come a long way um, as mm -hmm. far as ammunition. And 380... You know, everything was that stopping power, but don't start with a four. I ain't going to carry it if it's not a 40 or a 45. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, you know, you talk about – I'm at least a nine millimeter guy, me. Right. But I think that that 380 technology has come a long way, defensive rounds and stuff like that. You know, if yeah. it's what's comfortable for you, whether we're talking about a man, a woman, someone who's maybe older, has arthritis, I think that's right. kind of like, uh, you know – comfortable, yeah. Yeah. Because you, you'll use that. You, yeah. If you're comfortable, you're confident, you're confident, you'll carry mm -hmm. it. Now, mm -hmm. the only other one would be, are you going to, why don't you make the PK 380 and nine millimeter? If you made that, I'd, I'd, I'd buy it right now. <laughs> it's, there's, I talked to engineers and there's, there's legitimately that design with the fixed barrel. Mm -hmm. it, it's not going to handle a nine millimeter. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. buy the 380 and I, I'm not, you know, dismissing anybody on that, but mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's not. I'm in a nine millimeter. Yeah. I only have one uh, one thing that I would add in that vein. I want to see I want to see Walther make some more bullpups, but you know that's me. I mean, yeah, I'm just causing yeah. trouble. <laughs> we all, a lot of those older guns, like uh, even the P38 and stuff. But you're talking about the WA2000 and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I've got the 22 uh, Walther bullpup that uh, yeah. that was made a while back. I've got one actually. <laughs> lucky man actually i've seen <laughs> that thing i've seen yeah. that video um yeah, yeah I, i'd love to have some of the throwback guns uh if any you know again the, the designs and everything for that are so long gone mm -hmm. um, that yeah. you're talking about a complete new yeah this is collector new, territory we're into now yeah, I, I'd love to. I mean, every, every year there's less and less of the vintage PP models mm -hmm. and, and everything else. I mean, I saw a used WA-2000 for – without magazines for 12 grand or something like that. Like, what? like So imagine like the new pricing of that, doing new tooling and machining <laughs> would just be astronomical. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Um, I got mine from, from uh, my friend Walter from Safety Harbor Firearms. So. Okay. You know, uh, he's probably regretting that a little bit, but you know, yeah, no, no, no take backsies. <laughs> yeah. All right. So listen, we're going to wrap this up and get out of here. Um, I want to thank you for for joining us and doing this interview. Um, if anyone out there wants to communicate with you, what's the best way for, for them to do that? Telepathy. Ideally. Telepathy, really? Seriously? OK. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, you're 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 uh, you do monitor the um, the social yeah, medias, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and, go on Instagram and things like that. Ask questions as people are doing right now. It's Walther Arms. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I, I'd say other than that, you know, if it is if it is legitimately a, a question about product or an issue or warranty stuff, just customer service at WalterArms.com. I, okay. I do a lot of that stuff. A lot of it I just forward on to those guys. They're okay. They got to be saints. I, I would have already jumped off a building if I would have had to deal with customer. Although. The Walther community is awesome. We get a lot of people who thank us, which is really rare. Normally, you only hear from people who are having a tough time. But okay. anyways, appreciate we appreciate the people who, who buy the products. But man, I appreciate you too, Hank. Um, Same here. Keep doing the thing, man. And and uh, closer we get to this launch, maybe we can reconvene and talk about some of the new stuff. Absolutely. We'll do that. We'll bring it back. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining us here. Please uh, like, share, subscribe here to the channel. Ring the bell so you can be notified every time we go live. Thanks to Vince from Walther Arms for joining us. We're out of here. Peace. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.